now that we've addressed the general trend across a period, uh, so across period two and across period three, we've got a general increase. Uh, what we can now do is discuss where we have these um, unexpected dips. Uh, so as you can see, between beryllium and boron, we have this dip over here. Uh, so it doesn't follow the trend there. Um, and between nitrogen and oxygen, again, we have this dip over here. Same thing happens in period three. So between magnesium and aluminium, we have a dip there. And between phosphorus and sulfur, we have a dip there. OK, and if we just kind of um, clarify which groups they're in. So beryllium is in group two, boron is in group three. Uh, for nitrogen, it's in group five and oxygen is in group six. We now go to period three. Magnesium's group two, aluminium's group three, phosphorus is group five and sulfur is group six. So as you can see, anytime we go between group two and group three, we have a dip. Anytime we go between group five and group six, we have a dip in our um, ionization energy. So let's now address why we have those dips. So you'll always have a dip between group two and group three. And I'm just going to go for beryllium and boron for this. So beryllium is four electrons, so it's 1s2, 2s2. Boron has five electrons, so it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. Um, I'm now going to show this in electrons in boxes. So I'm going to use that model. Um, so 1s is lower than 2s, I'm going to 2s higher up, and um, I'm just going to fill those in. Remember, you've got to have opposite spins if they're belonging in one orbital. Um, and for boron, we've got 1s, we've got 2s, um, and we also have 2p. If you remember 2p, uh, that subshell has three orbitals, okay, because there's three p orbitals, there's px, py, and pz. Um, and filling those, so pair them up like that, and we've got a 2p1 electron there, okay? Um, right, so what you need to know is that the 2p is at a higher energy than the 2s. Even though they're within the same shell, uh, 2p has more energy than 2s. Um, and because this has more energy, um, it's actually a lot easier. You require less energy to remove the electron in that 2p um, orbital. So 2p, um, higher energy than 2s. So when it comes to removing the electron, so for boron, um, the outermost electron is this one here. Um, because it's a higher energy um, than the corresponding 2s in beryllium, so it would be this electron that we removed. Um, because it's higher in energy, this requires less energy to remove than the 2s electron, okay? And that's why you have that dip in ionization energy um, going from group two and group three. Um, as you go down group three, um, all of them have, uh, will end in 2p1. Uh, sorry, all of them will end in p1. So this one's 2p1, uh, the next group is 3p1, uh, next one will be 4p1 and so on. Um, they all have one, the outer electron in the p subshell. So you'll always have that dip going between group two and group group three. Let's now have a look at the dip between group um, five and six. So that was pretty, for um, the second period. It was um, between nitrogen and oxygen. So nitrogen has seven electrons. So that's one s two. 2s2, 2p3, and oxygen has eight electrons, so that's 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. And again, I'm going to do this in the electrons in boxes model. So for nitrogen, we have 1s, we have 2s, and we have 2p. OK, uh, same thing for oxygen. So I'm just going to draw that out here. OK, 
when it comes to filling these um so you should know that when you fill the electrons in a p orbital sorry in a p subshell um you must fill them up first uh, you must put one electron in each before you start pairing them up so for 1s um, that just fills up normally same for 2s we've got three electrons in our p subshell um, and you need to have one electron in each p orbital before you start pairing it so that is the correct um configuration for the um 2p3 oxygen so we've got again 1s filled 2s filled we've got 2p4 here so we fill um we put one electron in each first once each has one electron in it, then we can start pairing it so we've still got another electron so i now can put it into here and that's the correct way to show the oxygen um configuration now when it comes to moving the removing the outer electron so the first ionization energy um for this one it'll obviously be this electron here or any of these are all the same um for this one it will be the one that is paired okay um you also need to know so because you've got two electrons in one orbital okay both electrons um are negatively charged so there is going to be repulsion between these two electrons here OK, these electrons here, the ones that are uh, singly occupied, so we just have one in each. There's no repulsion because um, one electron is in a different orbital. So this orbital has one electron in it. This one has one electron in it. This one has another. Uh, so there's no repulsion between those electrons. OK, they're pretty happy where they are. Um, these two over here are fine. There's no repulsion because they're in the, in the orbital by themselves. Whereas these two here, there is repulsion between the two. OK, because there is repulsion. Um, this electron here is pretty kind of, you know, it's ready to leave. OK, um, so that means that this electron here is more readily lost or it can be, be more easily ionized uh, compared to the outer electron over here. OK, and that's due to uh, the electron pairing in oxygen. So in this 2p over here, not that one, sorry. Um, so these ones over here. Um, electrons that are paired will repel each other and therefore it you are um this electron here requires less energy to remove okay uh, because of the pairing this electron wants to run away uh, these electrons here they're pretty happy the way they are OK, and that is why um, you have that dip going from group five to group six. All group five elements are going to end in 2p3. All group six elements are going to end in 2p4. So they will all have this configuration in their outermost p subshell. OK, and because of the pairing that you have in um, 2p4, um, this one requires less energy to remove. This one doesn't.